Welcome back, Scots fans, to another edition of the Coach's Corner. I'm Dylan Gerard, joined today by the Gordon College men's basketball coach, Todd Murphy. Coach, a big week for you guys last week, a tough battle at home against Roger Williams and then a nice win on the road against Curry. What do you take from those two games? Um, well, I guess the, the best thing we can take from it is that we're, we're obviously improving. Um, you know, Roger Williams is a very good team and, and we had a chance to beat them. Actually, just a couple of uh, mental breakdowns kind of late in the game kind of hurt us. But uh, uh, And then to go to Gordon and play as well as we did, or excuse me, to go to Curry and play as well as we did was obviously a good thing as well. Um, obviously, they were missing their two best players, which certainly didn't hurt matters for us. Um, as Coach Crass would say, that team is capable of beating anyone in our conference when those two are around. But when those two aren't around, we're not sure they can beat anybody. So. But, uh, you know, we played well, we played together as a team, and hopefully we're, we're still coming together and we can still do some damage in conference. And looking back at that game against Roger Williams, Jeff and I were talking during the, that broadcast about one particular moment that we thought really just sort of set the tone for that game, and that was the play by Austin Benson right in front of your bench <laughs> where he threw the ball up the floor and then saved it again from going out of bounds and led to a big bucket. Tell us a little bit about the energy that, that he brings, as well as Greg, just sort of the way the senior leadership has helped on such a young team. Well, I, I've been around basketball for an awful long time, more than 30 years playing and, and coaching. And I can honestly say I've never seen a play like the one Austin made there. So um, to, to work as hard as he did on that play, and you know, that's just a, what he gives us every single day in practice and in games. Um, he is certainly our, our uh, heart and soul sort of guy from, for the team. Um, we expect that out of him every day and every night, and, and he gives it to us. So, um, and then Greg is just, uh, you know, this year he's taking on more of a leadership role, trying to be a little bit more, uh, um, you know, more of a, a, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, speaking to the players and being, a, instead of just being a leader by example, he's being much more of a vocal leader this year, which is a good thing. So. Um, you know, I, I think they've both had very good years. I know Austin, I'm sure, would like to be doing a little bit more productivity on the offensive end, but he gives us so much with his heart that, uh, you know, the, the jump shots that he makes or the, the buckets he gets on offensive boards are just a bonus. Now, with the tell, tell us a little bit about the dynamic you guys have at point guard now that Park Thomas is getting a little more accustomed to your offense and um, JT as well, the sort of one-two punch that those two bring and how you can sort of use them both in different situations. Just tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think uh, ad admittedly, JT would say he wasn't playing very well early in the year. Um, but I think having Park come in and play as well as he had it, it has at times, it's kind of pushed JT to, to make him better. And I think JT's game has certainly picked up quite a bit since Park's been here. So um, it, it's been a good combination. It's been a good blend. I think J, JT is more of our uh, leader, defensive type player, whereas Park is a much uh, more dynamic offensive type of player who can make uh, solid plays for himself as well as getting his, his teammates the ball in good spots. So. Um, I think the duo has worked out very well, and I think uh, with continued progress on, on Park's side, I think uh, that position will, will continue to get stronger and stronger. Now, a big game coming up on Thursday against NEC before Endicott comes in here on Saturday, but we won't look ahead to that. Um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what you're expecting from that NEC game Thursday. Well, NEC is a very physical team. Um, they've got some... Not so much height, but they've got big bodies and they'll go out there and bang on you quite a bit defensively. And then offensively, they've got a, a five-man uh, passing type of game where they'll go out and set a bunch of big screens and uh, get a lot of ball movement and that sort of thing. So they're going to work the clock a little bit against us and, and we're going to have to focus for you know, a minimum of probably 15 to 20 seconds and up to 30, 35 seconds each defensive uh, uh, set that we have. So. You know, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a nail biter. I think uh, Coach Crass, it'll be a game that he likes. He likes those 50 to 48 type games. So uh, it could turn out to be a game like that. And, and certainly I know NEC would probably like to, to pay us back for the, the treatment we gave them last year. We, we had a very good game against them last year. And so I, I think they'd like to get a little redemption with some of their seniors this year. 
Well, thanks, Coach, and best of luck to you guys this week. Well, I appreciate it, Dylan. Always good talking to you. That'll do it for this edition of the Coach's Corner. Check the Gordon College Athletics Facebook page as well as every broadcast for more inside scoop on the Gordon College men's basketball team.